Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 7k squared minus 16k plus 100 equals 0, and we need to solve this by completing the square. I have an a value of 7. I'm going to divide that 7 to all parts, or really both sides of the equation. Coming down, we have just a k squared here, minus, well, 16 sevenths k, plus 100 sevenths, and that equals 0. Not pretty. Same process still applies, though. Don't be afraid of the fractions. Subtract 100 over 7 to both sides. So we have k squared minus 16 sevenths k equals, I left a space there, negative 100 over 7. Now my b value is negative 16 over 7. So I use my formula, 1 half times a negative 16 over 7 squared. Well, 1 half times negative 16 over 7, okay, and squared <laughs> comes out to be a 64 over 49, okay. So I'm going to take that 64 over 49, and I'm going to add it to both sides of the equation, plus 64 over 49. Now the left-hand side is a perfect square. That is the k minus 8 sevenths squared. And that 8 sevenths is what 1 half times negative 16 sevenths is, that negative 8 sevenths here squared, just so you you can kind of see that. And then that gets us to 64 over 49. And that's equal to, adding the right-hand side, comes a pretty big fraction, negative 636 over 49. I now have to take the square root of both sides of the equation, and I'm left with a k minus 8 sevenths here, equals a plus or minus, and the square root of negative 636 over 49, well, if it's a fraction, we can take the square root of the numerator and denominator individually. So the numerator, square root of negative 636, is the square root of a negative 1 times the square root of 636 over the square root of 49, which is 7. We add an 8 sevenths to both sides, so if k equals a positive 8 sevenths, plus or minus, square root of negative 1 is an i, and uh, the square root of 336 a 636 comes out to be a 2, so that was times 2, square root of 159 over 7. So let's make this a little neater. We have k equals, notice we have a 7 in the denominator for both parts, so we can combine it to be 1 fraction over 7. And we have 8 plus or minus. Proper technique would, or writing would have the 2 first, then the i, and the square root of 159. Now, this represents two numbers, so we can write them individually as k equals an 8 plus, by itself, 2i, square root of 159 over 7, and then 8 minus 2 square root of i, or sorry, i times the square root of 159 over 7, and these two are our final answers. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.